is begin to prioritize taking care of our basic needs, making sure that we're bathing regularly, eating regularly, sleeping when we need to, just taking care of our basic needs. When I was in the mental hospital, that was the most important thing that was drilled to me. When you feel like things are crumbling all around you, just try to stick to your daily essentials. Devise that routine, take care of yourself, and nurture yourself back to health. Simone Honeybee, thank you Simone Honeybee. Oh, Jersey, Jersey Tomboy. I thought it was Jersey Tomb. I'm sorry. And thank you, Rock Out. Do I use fruit to stay sober? No, not at all. I don't think fruit has anything to do with it. Um, How I stay sober is... I, I take pride in it now. Like, I, I really... I, I, I drilled it into my head how good it is for me. And... It's um, also a little thing that I kind of had to do. I had to drill it into my head that that self-medicating through vices is deplorable. It's the last thing I want to do. And I used to do it a lot. Um, but I, I just can't live that way anymore. I've, I've detached from that type of thinking, you know? Hold on, getting some finger lime going, y'all. Did I move? Yeah, I moved away from Philly about, like, two months ago. I've been traveling a lot. Any any advice for someone going through a breakup? I should, I should be asking you the same thing, dog. Uh, uh, I was gonna ask you that. No, um, I think the, the same thing, the advice that I just gave about depression could be said and applied to a breakup. Um, you gotta give yourself some time. And you got to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and prioritizing the maintenance of your mind, of your body, of your schedule. I mean, right now I'm seeing two therapists. Um, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much like dating therapists right now to see which one I really want to stick with and which one flows with like my my life and, and you know provides me better information and uh you know i think that when we find ourselves dealing with a breakup or heartbreak it, it's a beautiful opportunity to pour some of that love that we've had at the ready to pour onto and into some other person into ourselves and there's many ways that we could do that. There's many, there's not just one way to do it. It's, a, it's about figuring out what you need in this moment. Figure out what you need. Like, something I've been realizing that I kind of require lately, and it's hard to provide for yourself is, um, emotional support and uh, and physical company you know I tend to isolate a lot and if I'm if I'm not careful or, or if anyone's not careful they'll find themselves staying in that box staying in that state of isolation uh, because they're not even thinking to reach out to people you can't give up like you have to You have to keep on top of it, you know? I don't know. My advice for that same question might be different tomorrow. But yeah, I've just been allowing my, you know, I think it's important during a breakup to allow yourself to feel hurt. You're going through a grieving process, you know? You're mourning the loss of something. If you, if you gotta cry, you gotta cry. I've been crying like crazy. Do I like Asian pears? I've never had a good one. They're always like too hard. Um, 
I don't I don't feel like they ripen properly. At least the ones I've had. I like uh, Bartlett pears. And yo, thank you for 700K. I appreciate y'all still tapping the screen. Did I work a 12-step program? No, I did not. I did not. Do I believe in meds for depression? Yeah. I haven't taken any for the past however many years up until the 8th of this month. Started taking something the 8th of this month. Um, and I'll let you know how it's going, but, um, a lot of people talk all this conspiracy stuff about how medication doesn't help mental people dealing with mental, uh, mental health issues or, you know, depression or things like that. And, and it's nonsense, you know, I think that it contributes to, to a really dangerous stigma regarding mental health. How do I cope with being bipolar? I try to take it as it comes for the most part. I try not to place too much expectation on myself um, as far as like how I'm supposed to behave or, uh, you know, what I need to be doing. I just try to remind myself that there's certain coping mechanisms and things out there that we can do. To, uh, to navigate it better. So along with trying to kind of take my hands off of the wheel a bit, like as far as trying to steer and control everything, I allow myself to feel what I feel, but I make sure I keep myself educated enough and informed enough on things I can do to cope with it healthily. Sayana, what's up, love? How you doing? Is that a pomelo? Yes, it's a pomelo. I'm going to open that in a bit. Your braids look painful. Oh, no, 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 I'm not weak. I'm not a, like, you know, pain is weakness leaving the body, baby. These are braids, you know what I mean? I've been through more pain than that. I got them done by a Dominican lady, though, a Dominican joint. I mean, beautiful, you know, skilled woman, you know? Nimble, strong fingers, you know, good grip. But, uh, yeah, nah, man, I'm good. Kane, what did you do today? Luke, what's up, buddy? Um, today, man, I took a rest day from working out. I didn't work out much. I've just been, uh, I had a therapy session today with a new therapist, and uh, I've just been, you know, going through it, man. How about you? Dana and Lindy Ellison, thank you. What does dragon fruit taste like? Tastes like a pear and a kiwi had a baby, but the flavor didn't load all the way. Wait, you said I th you said you think someone's gonna tell your crush that you like them? Why why haven't you told them already? If you're not ready, I understand, but it's like, if you really have a crush on somebody, I think that you should tell them. Someone just asked, is fruit all you eat? It's a chicken bone. What skincare do I use? I use Cetaphil face wash. Leslie West, I'm happy that I'm happy that you tried one. I hope you liked it. Yeah, Jack, Jack sings. Along with that, I have my own line of workout like supplements. Protein powder, creatine, pre-workout, a bunch of stuff. Can I eat mango steam? Yes, I can. How many times have I been asked if I only eat fruit? More times than I can even remember. Like all the times in the world. What does my typical day look like? Uh, working out, um, working on music, 
you know? Wait, what did you say, uh? Yeah, Ari, I did. How you doing, Ari? Lane Daly and Jenna Ortega, thank you. And Janelle and Katie's 2244. How many piercings do I have? I have one. Do a fruit for thought. Oh no, I already posted one tonight. I posted a fruit for thought. I don't know if you even saw it on your on your TikTok, but I posted one right before going live. Advice on having no passion? Are you talking like passion for, for a person? Or are you talking about passion for like an activity? Like something you, you want to dedicate yourself to? Because I think before you can feel passion for something, you have to figure out what it is you value and appreciate what you are a fan of, you know? What's the fruit I'm eating? This is some mango steam. Let me see, show you how it looks. Mango steam. What am I struggling with mentally? I think the main thing I'm struggling with mentally at the moment is uh, feelings of abandonment and rejection. Yeah. Did I do a thank you dance for 800K? Hold on a second. Ooh. For everyone asking, where do you buy these? I wrote the name of where I got the fruit from in the live. So before you tapped and came into the room, also, thank you to everyone that's watching from the For You page, but if you tap the screen and come into the room, it actually counts. I hope y'all know that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, Miami Fruit. Yeah. I have the link to my affiliate code on my TikTok page. If you go to my TikTok page, there's an affiliate code with them. Favorite Magic player? The, the one I'm wearing, Shaq. Passion fruit, y'all. Wait, what's your name? Just Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. Uh -huh. I appreciate you for checking out my podcast. I gotta pin your comment. What does mango steam taste like? It's kind of hard to say. I feel like mango steam is a. It's 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 sweet, but it's got like a creamy undertone. Kizzy and Lily. Thank you, Kizzy and Lily. Someone said hello from Kentucky. What's up, yo? Shout out to Kentucky. Where's everybody out here from, yo? I'm from Philadelphia, but I'm in Florida. How many grams of protein do I get? I don't really count. But I get more I get more than 60 grams a day. Definitely get more than 60 grams of protein a day. Hulu. What's up, Hulu? And HTB01. Tennessee, Louisiana, Denver, Colorado. Do I like Sun Gold Kiwi? Not as much as the... As the uh, not as much as the regular Kiwi. Pittsburgh, Kentucky... Tennessee, West Virginia, Germany. Wow. The Bronx, the Boogie Down. Chicago, the Crib, Boston. All right. We got a lot of people in here from a lot of different places. You said, isn't passion fruit pink? Oh, no, they have golden ones, too. Also, we just hit 900K. Thank you all very much for that. Appreciate you all. Purple 8260 and Kayla. Thank you. Brazil, the Philippines, Australia, New Zealand, Spain, Fort Myers. That's what's up. Belize. Jimmy Bass, what's up? Jamaica. Boop, boop. Guam, Sweden, Greenland. 
McGeek and J Jimmy Bass, Fat Mama and West Indian. Thank y'all so much. California, Trinidad, Colorado, Scotland, was Donkey, Puerto Rico. Hey, what's up, y'all? You know what I mean? Tennessee, Utah. Who is Jazz? Thank you. Who is Jazz? And Silkara and Christine. Thank you. What does this taste like? The yellow dragon fruits are the sweetest of all of them. This tastes sort of like, like watered, like a, I don't know, it tastes like a melon and honey. I don't know. That's what I would say it tastes like. Auckland, okay. Where do you get your fruit from? From Miami fruit. My friends at Miami fruit give me all this fruit. Do I like spiked melon? You mean uh, Kiwano? The horned melon, the spiked melon? Yeah, I like that. How long does the fruit last? It depends. If you put it in the fridge, it'll last longer. You know? Which dragon fruit do you prefer? I prefer the red. Ottawa, Canada. Barb Wallace, Evan Leoy. Bella, what's up Bella, how you doing? Welcome back to the live. Trinidad, Connecticut. Brooklyn, Boca, okay. Favorite fruit. My favorite fruit is watermelon, I love watermelon. Do I do my own hair? No, I can barely tie my shoes, babe. That's why I wear Crocs. And half the time I'm wearing like other shoes, they're not tied. You know what I mean? I mean hold on, how do I turn it? You know what I'm saying? It's the Post Malone pink Jones. they're cute as hell. How do you see the difference between a red and white dragon fruit? Well, one's red and the other is white. No, the, um, the real tell of the difference is you'll see the leaves will be different on the red ones. They'll kind of like curve and curl more. And the, um, the red dragon fruits, they're, they look almost identical, but you'll notice that the flesh, or the, the, out, the outer flesh, I should say, like the shell, is a little darker. London, what up, London? Lily, that that is that you're being fresh. You're being very fresh. This is a family restaurant. All right. You know what I mean, you gotta be a little. <laughs> There's kids in here, okay? You said Philly, go birds. Yeah, man. Shout out to Philly, man. I love being from Philly, but I don't know if I'm gonna go back for a while. You know. Manda Panda, thank you, baby. You said Sporks. If you go there. You can sign up for my email list and I'll message you personally when the next shipment of these are ready. Stacy, Stacy. And Lily314, thank you. Opinions on mangoes and kiwis. I like kiwis. I like the original kiwis the best. I like the ones with a little, I like to eat them with the, with the fur still on it. You know what I mean? I like things with a little bit of fur on it, you know? And, um... When it comes to mangoes, I love mangoes. But the problem with mangoes is everywhere you go, they only got mangoes that'll be ready like three to four business days from now. You know what I mean? When did mangoes start to become like avocados? Even down here in Florida, I, I'm having trouble f finding mangoes that I could eat that day. If I can't pick it up and, you know, bust it open, you know? Scopes and Amanda and only Sarah. Wait, hold up. We just hit a milli. Gotta do the thank you. Thank y'all so much. Appreciate y'all. You said it's not mango season? I don't want to hear it, bro. It's 2020. What you mean it's not mango season, you know? This is ridiculous. I could talk to the remote right now, you know? Kane Kerner, why'd you have to leave? 
Wait, what's your name? Hustle and Heart? Is that your name? Thank you for the disco. Appreciate you. Uh, uh. Wait, is it gonna play? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just talked to the damn remote and I put my song on. And if you want to find this song, all you gotta do is type my name in wherever you listen to music. The music video is on YouTube if you wanna, you know what I mean? Huh. Yeah.